Welcome to the Jewels of Russia. Ever since Russia was awarded the right to host the 2018 World Cup, there's been an atmosphere in England which said that it couldn't have happened without wide-scale corruption behind it. Now, David Treesman, the man who was for a time the head of the England bid, has made a series of allegations which, if true, would suggest the world's governing body, FIFA, is rotten. He said the high-profile FIFA representative from Trinidad, Jack Warner, had said he wanted to create a personal legacy in the form of a school in return for his support. An England bid member had questioned the cost. He said, you must be, well, I'll leave out some of the language, but you must be joking, Jack. You're talking about probably two and a half million pounds. Jack Warner nodded at that and sat back. He didn't say anything. He nodded at it but then said that the funds could be channelled through him and he would guarantee that they were appropriately spent. <laughs> Echoing claims which led to him being forced to quit his job last year, he suggested Spain may have done a deal with Russia to support its bid and he alleged the Paraguayan representative had wanted a knighthood for his vote for England. I said that it was completely impossible. We didn't operate in the United Kingdom like that. Uh, Mr Leo's shrugged his shoulders and turned and walked away. The man behind Qatar's successful bid for 2022 was also called to this inquiry, where he had to answer an allegation that the Gulf state had paid officials from several African countries for their support. Uh, this guy said that Qatar had paid not 1.2 but 1.5 million dollars to two FIFA Exco members, Hayatu and Jack Anuma of the Ivory Coast, to secure their votes. You're raising things that I had no notice of, I'm not aware of, I've got no reason to believe that they're true. Um, I'm not sure what more I can say. Much of this reflects on the current head of FIFA and his conduct. Now he says he wants transparency. We must have the evidences and then we will act immediately, immediately against all those they would be in such a breach of the ethical code rules. FIFA's philosophy of taking football to new frontiers looks certain to preclude any chance England has now of staging the event in the future. Given the widespread assumption in England that all of these corruption allegations are true, many people in this country will think it not worth bothering anyway. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, London.